All right, we're back on, Charlie. Uh, it's event number 23, the Men's Alumni 8. Tom, these boats are, are young, average age in the, in the high 20s, um, and they represent colleges uh, all up and down the East Coast and across the country. And in first place right now, it's MRI alumni uh, from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Right. That's and they seem to have passed BMA uh, from New York, New York. Hmm. That's bell markers number two and one coming by the uh, dock now. Yeah. And they've opened quite a lead on the uh, the next group, but they're very tightly packed. This is good. Oh, we've be... got a real race here. It's, yeah. a, it's obviously Fat Cat out there in the orange, yep. uh, which is bow marker number three. So that must be, I'm guessing, uh, UW alumni? Well, no. Fat Cat, of course, is uh, Princeton. And that's bow marker number four on the inside in the white. That's uh, UW U alumni. UW. Just UW. Just UW. But <laughs> Great it says program Newton out Center there. Center Mass. That's awesome. Ah. Maybe that's where they're staying, but uh, University of Washington, United, UW in uh, number four. And breathing down there next is um, Evergreen from Hanover, New Hampshire. Must be Dartmouth alumni. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. You can see they're rowing a much higher rate than all, any of the boats we've seen. To, you yeah. Know, So number five, of course, is Evergreen from Hanover. So that's a Dartmouth boat. Whoa. Yeah. I imagine you can get anything. You know, you're going to, you might get an alumni eight that's really fast one year and then maybe not so much the next. I, well, I think it's a great event. They, they, that may be the case of what we're seeing now because we've now had these boats open quite a lead on the next two boats that yeah. are coming through. The, uh, but there's a battle there. It looks like yeah. uh, Baumarkner Severn, which is uh, Butte, um, is uh, from Weston, Mass. I don't know. That, Maybe that's a Harvard. May, uh, well, it's it's Butte, B-U-T-T-E. Yeah. Uh, and they've passed uh, Baumarkner, or passing yeah. Baumarkner number six, uh, which is uh, Linwood. Linwood. Hey, no, it's got to be a Yale group. But you would have thought that that, maybe that's a Yale group in the white boat with the yeah. white because there's nobody else in New Haven <laughs> but Yale. Um, I wonder if that Butte is a variation on, uh, well, or variant spelling on, on their coach, Charlie. Oh, well, maybe that coach, is. Charlie maybe Butt. But Charlie Butt. That's yeah. it. And coming around the bend in yellow is uh, bow marker number eight. Looks like Navy. I'd it say. is that Navy. That it is Navy. That's uh, the Navy. Uh, alumni of the United States Naval Academy are currently serving or have served their country as officers in the United States Navy and Marine Corps. Could, could, All uh, right. Ah, couldn't it? Tough, tough, tough on the Let's turn. Let's go Navy, Look working they, it around. They've, there they go. They hold it. They, well, you they, know what? That was better to take their medicine. It, it, yeah. Nobody wants to stop, but it's better than stopping on the embutment. Right. And, and here's that's marker number nine, Virginia. Number nine, Virginia from Charlottesville. Sure, the boys are back in town and they're looking for trouble. <laughs> and bow marker number 10 in the light blue, is that, uh, is is that Columbia? 1754 New York. It must be Columbia University lightweight alumni. I'm not so sure they look lightweight anymore, but anyway. <laughs> well, and they're followed by bow marker number 11 in the black. Delaware, Delaware. That's the Delaware, uh, Delaware graduates. University of Delaware men's crew alumni. Boy, and quite it must be a lot of alumni affinity up in up at Dartmouth and Hanover, because here's another Evergreen crew. Mm. That's number eleven. Thirteen. Sure. Thirteen, and that is Evergreen. Yes, you say, and Hanover, New Hampshire. And it looks like bow marker number sixteen, which has passed bow marker number fourteen in this next group of four. And you recognize those blades from nearby Brown University. So that's Brown, and they're um, and the who's Brunos. 14, Charlie? Excuse me? Who's bow marker number 14? Number 14 is Blue Cheese Rowing Club from Santa Barbara. That's the Yale lightweight alumni. And bow marker number 15 has come through um, 12 in the Orange Blades. And that's the Purple Calf Boat Club from Pittsfield, Mass. Now, who could they be? 
It's not clear what alumni they are, anyway. And charging up hard on the inside is bow marker number 18, which is St. Joseph's. Alumni in Philadelphia. Yeah, That's they're right. really uh, the, they're really coming up. The hawk will never die, as they say. That's 18 and 12. What did we get for 12? 12, we, did we do 12? That was Virginia. See you at Hong Kong, they say. Seventeen. And it looks like Williams. Is that Williams? Seventeen. What's the number? Seventeen. So number seventeen, the black hull uh, and the uh, yellowish orange, uh, is the Chocolate Lab Boat Club from Williamstown, Pennsylvania, Williamstown, Mass. So obviously Williams College, with the purple. And another blue cheese, which is uh, says Santa Barbara, California. Yale, okay, blue e cheese, but that's Yale lightweights. Yeah. So these would be the Eli's. And why blue cheese, Tom? <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure it's a lot of fun naming these boats and they're having fun with that. So, oh, here comes a knot. Uh, one, two, three, four boats tightly packed as they come around the Cambridge turn. And it's bow marker number 20 on the outside. On the outside, farthest is Hobart alumni. The crew comes back for another strong year. And they've been passed by bow marker number 22 on the inside. And 22 on the inside is Crabtree, London. All right. So there you go. From and, but 20, they're being pressed in turn by bow marker number 23 in the red. And the 23 in the red is St. Joe's Prep from Philadelphia. The crew was alumni from, Saint, from 2008 to 2012. And in the red... It, it, that yeah, and then there's bow marker number twenty three in the black boat, and the um, is bow marker twenty one. That's St. Joseph Prep, and in twenty one is Georgetown, Washington, Georgetown University. So that's uh, Georgetown University alumni eight. So it's bow marker number 24, rowing a pretty high rate coming by us, coming up to the uh, dock now. Now that's the friends of WPI in Worcester, Mass., Worcester Polytech. But they're being pressed by, um, by 25, so it looks like it's been a battle yep. with MIT grad the that's whole time. exactly right. MIT grad there at number uh, 25. So. And they're being um, pressed by P150 alumni out of Oyster Bay. So who's that? It says plucky and ready for what fun. Is it? 28. 28 is P150. Plucky and ready for fun. They don't tell us who. Plucky and ready, ready for fun, but without a name of a organization behind it. But anyway, happy to have them. 27 on the inside. Uh, on the inside, on the, on the Boston shore, is number 27. That's George Washington Rowing Association. Um, and on the outside, Tom, is, 20, is number 26, Bucknell alumni. It looks like, the, looks like the Princeton colors to me, but maybe that's Bucknell's choice also. No, no, no. no. Well, Princeton's just orange and black. This is orange and dark blue. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Looking at the blades. So I wasn't sure. I thought Bucknell was going a little wide, but they found they found some rudder. Yeah. Or, uh, uh oh, here's another uh, a knot. Thirty-two, then thirty. So in the, leading this leading this knot is number thirty-two, Syracuse University. We got the colors right on that one, Tom. Yeah, and they've passed um, bow marker number 30. Is that the blue blue? That's blades? in the dark blue and the light blue blades. Is number 30, and that is uh, a Harvard boat, uh, no, BHRA, uh, no, no Boxborough Scholastic rowing no. team. A 35 does look to be Harvard coming up or uh, coming up hard on the outside. That that's ex Nemo, and that is Harvard's uh, alter name. Yeah, they're moving nicely. They've pa they're passing some boats. It looks like they were coming by so fast, they couldn't even take the inside. And, 31. and, then, uh, and number 31 from Bologna Creek Bandits from Marina Del Rey. This is UCLA's rowing alumni. And this is 37. And in the red hull is number 37, the Blue Star from Newcastle, Northumberland. They're rowing well. They're they're managing a fairly high rating. I gotta say that's every yeah. bit of thirty six. This is a this and they're is making a, it look pretty good. 
this is a club, one of the largest and most successful university rowing clubs in the UK. It's a great way to see so many alumni. It's called the Blue Star Club. Uh, Northumberland gets its name from yep. the uh, land north of the Humber River, North uh, Humber Land. There you go. In the dark hull, have with a nice tight turn here, putting their uh, port oars right over those uh, buoys. We haven't got the number yet on that, but they're rowing quite well. Perhaps it's Yale uh, with the L white and white and blue blades. That's number, bar marker, uh, number 34. Number 34 is the Yale Old Fellows, obviously for representing Yale. And they've passed uh, number 33. And number 33 is MHH Ramrod Boat Club. Uh, members of the 1987 freshman heavyweight Harvard Ramrod boat. There you go. Ram but they're, they're being passed by the WAC alumni. Uh, old geese are made up of former rowers of Washington College in Chestertown, Maryland. Yeah. And leading this uh, next group is... Um, Bow marker number 43. And that, that is Old Dog, New Haven, Connecticut. That's got to be the Yale alumni. And they've passed bow marker number 42 in the uh, yellow boat, in the blue blades. And they go by the name of the Dragon Retirement Home in New York, New York. <laughs> uh, this crew participants were elected the best looking in rowing history by popular vote in 2019. And here we have uh, bow marker number 39 in the dark uniforms. And, um, and that's NU, Northeastern University in Medford, Mass., former captains and most valuable oarsmen from Northeastern. And they're followed by bow marker number 38. Marietta College, the long blue line. Now here comes 47 looks good. They're rowing every bit of a 36. Look at those, look at that timing, Charlie. Who is this? This is Blue, Blue Star Club out of Newcastle, Northumberland, you, as you said. Um, yeah, 40, winners of the UK Alumni Championship for four years in a row. Okay. Multiple Henley winners, Fred Gill, a whole host of good guys. All right, I, 47, we're gonna see them in the top five. Yeah. I think. Look at the, look at the catches on that. It's just really nice. Yeah. And leading the next uh, group of boats is uh, in the Harvard Blades, bow marker number 44. And 44 is the Harvard alumni. Um, Harvard heavyweight team mostly comprised of the class of 2016. Oh. And something's up with the, with the next boat. In the yellow, um, the bowman is, is dropped out. And he, they need him right now. You well, know, unless they're trying, I don't know what they're trying to do. That, that's bow marker number 41. They're being passed by bow marker number that's 46. That's the Navy Masters. That's the Navy Masters from and, the Naval and, Academy. And sort of compound passing is bow marker number 50 on the very inside. And the 50 is King's Crown in New York. And they're also, uh, also in the mix is bow marker number 49 in the yellow boat. 49 is another Hanover, another Dartmouth crew. And it looks like a Cornell boat, bow marker number 48. Is that, that Cornell? That, that, that's Cornell, definitely. And then 51 is Ilsa Vista, Santa Barbara. And they're followed yep. by uh, number 45. And number 45 is UVM alumni up in Burlington, University of Vermont. And then uh, bringing up this group, bringing up the rear of this group is bow marker number 40 in the Northeastern Blades. And in the the Northeastern Blades are the, the, the Northeastern alumni, so that's, uh, that works. And they look up a little longer in tooth than some of the other boats, but we're glad to have them here. Let's go Northeastern. Let's go Huskies. Hey, guys. Hi. How's it going? Good, good, good. 
Yeah. You guys need a spotter, or you guys kind of sound like you're killing it on your own? Yeah, we're okay. Because yeah. some, the, if you, like, I guess there's a spotter for the TV. But yeah, no, she, well, she's the audio assistant, so if you guys need oh. anything, um, she, this is Alex. Okay, she's your yeah. guy. Hey, nice to meet you, Tom. Nice to meet you. This is, I was um, just um, relaying the numbers to the downstairs team only, yeah. but I'm happy to relay them to you. Can we get forgotten after like, like, on screen? No, you, you know, I, I think we, we got it because otherwise it gets it's too many numbers. Yeah, I need okay. to tell them ahead of time so yeah. they can type it in. So if you get them, we, we can use that. Well, okay. I also have for you guys is we have the splits oh, of the three. top votes that, are, that have gone yes, by CBC. Yeah. And I'll put, I only put those on screen Another during a lull. Down, purple, so uh, if it's in between, so yeah. check that out and kind of relay yeah. that to the audience. Yeah, with it. Yeah. Because we got, oh, like, I think the brand? I am. You are? Charlie Ann. Oh, Charlie. Hi, yeah. good to put a face to the name. Yeah. Yeah. Tom? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, we got another. Uh, uh, we got. Grant, do you see how it comes fast and furious here? I do. <laughs> okay, 52. Yeah. Okay, I'm, you're still. And it's bow marker number 52, which is Holy Cross uh, from Shrewsbury, Mass. Or, well, not just uh, Holy Cross, but the College of the Holy Cross. Right. And what do they have on their bow? It looks like a, um, a little um, uh, antenna there. Is that a, 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 a video rig? We see, we see that an international... Um, competition, but it's a much smaller rig up on the bow so that um, everybody that's watching can know the stroke rates and the speed of the boat, etc.